Yeah, sir. Uh, I have uh, a doubt uh, on certain stuff in 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 prayer. Like uh, there is one message that throughout the the whole month, then starting from the Zuhur, Asir, Isha, and Maghrib, the last raka after Ruku, going to the sujood. So he will make a prayer. And then after prayer, he will go to the sujood. So after that, when I ask him, so what is the reason for doing that one? And then he was saying, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, during his time, there were a, a massacre for 70 people. And then he was doing Salatul Qunut. I say, what hadith, where is the the reference for that hadith but he didn't give it to me so i was having this doubt so i don't Ayy. know like, muhammad i got your uh, question it is prescribed yes. during catastrophe calamities and disasters to pray what is known as qunut in the last rak'ah of each of the five daily prayers including dhuhr and asr not only in the loud prayers such as Fajr, Maghrib, and Ish. Every rak'ah, second rak'ah of Fajr, fourth of Dhuhr and Asr, fourth of Isha, third of Maghrib. Upon rising from the Ruku'ah, the Imam would supplicate. His supplication should be focused on asking the Almighty to lift the crisis, to remove the burden, to protect those who are vulnerable, and so on. To punish the perpetrators, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kept on making qunut for a whole month on two tribes known as Ri'l wa Dhakwan in the sound hadith they betrayed and they assassinated the messengers of the messenger of Allah they said give us some uh, of your companions to teach us uh, Quran and Islam and it was all set up a trap so when the Prophet sent 70 of the greatest reciters, they assassinated them. They trapped them and they assassinated, they killed them. So the Prophet وسلم, in every prayer, after he rises up from the fourth rak'ah, he would say, Allahu liman hamida, then raise his hands and does what is called kunut. He will pray against the perpetrators. Oh Allah curse Ri'al, the Quan, Al Adal, Wal Qara, these tribes who were involved directly or indirectly in assassinating those 70 companions. Today, we have 2.5 million Muslims suffering because some criminals, war criminals, some oppressors, some evil occupation forces are targeting civilians, women, and children. Now it's over 30,000 shaheed, mainly children and women. Okay? So it should be in every prayer of the five daily prayers, and you don't need a permission from anyone. You, if you're leading the prayer, you raise your hands and ask Allah to destroy the perpetrators to defeat them, to afflict them with diseases which will eliminate them, and to save and rescue his servants, to spare the weak and the oppressed, to protect those who are being oppressed, the vulnerable ones. That's called Qunut, Muhammad from South Korea. So it's actually perfectly prescribed and legal. Barakallah Now you came to know it's a sound hadith.